Hi, Michael from Invarian here, and welcome to the tutorial on navigating the Rapid Plan Online interface. The Rapid Plan Online interface is designed to be simple and easy to use. There are a number of different palettes and icons on the page, so let's step through them. The map space we see in the center of the window is called our Canvas area. When first starting a plan, you'll see a field at the top of the page where you can search for the location of your worksite, including parameters for narrowing your search. By default, you'll search for results within your country, which can be disabled if you need to search globally. You can also search for locations in your local area, or you can search by coordinates. This field uses a natural keyword search, so just start typing, and the location results will start to appear based on the search parameters. Once you place an object on your plan, the location search field will disappear. To pan around the canvas area or move your map, simply hold down the space bar on your keyboard and move your cursor like so. To zoom in and out, just scroll up and down with your mouse wheel or swipe up and down with two fingers on your touchpad. Note that there are different controls for using Rapid Plan Online on a touchscreen device, which are covered in a separate tutorial video linked in the description below. At the bottom of our window, we have our plan scale setting. Adjusting your plan scale will resize all plan objects in relation to the map. If you're designing a larger plan, you may wish to increase the scale so that your signs and other devices are visible once you print or export your plan. To adjust your plan scale, simply click Yes, Adjust and adjust the scale accordingly. If you aren't sure what scale might best suit your needs, there are some suggested scales based on various scopes of work that you can try. Like the location search field, once you place an object on your plan, the adjust scale box will disappear. On the left side of your window are your tools and signs palettes along with your scratch pad. On the right, we have our properties, history, and layers palettes. The tools, signs, and scratch pad are each covered in separate tutorial videos linked in the description below. Above the properties on the right side of the window, we have a few shortcuts. The location pin icon allows you to return to your plan origin once you've begun designing your plan. This can be helpful with long or large scale work zones where you may find yourself panning far away from the starting point of your plan. In the center of the canvas area, we see a red location pin. Once we place an object on our plan, the plan origin marker will be placed where the red pin is currently located, like so. As we pan around the plan, the red pin will then indicate how far we've panned away from the origin of our plan. This red pin also serves a purpose in printing and exporting our plans, which we'll cover in the printing tutorial video. You can hide the location pin by clicking the wrench icon in your layers palette here. The middle icon is for enabling geolocation, which, if allowed by your device settings, will quickly bring your map to where you're currently located. This is especially helpful if you're designing your plan while on site. The printer icon is used for reaching the printing screen. When you've completed your plan, you can click this icon to bring up your print options and export your plan to a PDF or image file, which can then be printed or shared with others. We'll cover printing and exporting in greater detail in another tutorial video linked in the description below. You can hide the palettes on the right side of your window by clicking the arrow here. In the upper left corner of the window, we have the menu button, our plan title, our save status, and an arrow to hide the palettes on the left side of the window. When we click on the menu button, we see a number of options. The first is to exit our plan and return to the Invariant Cloud homepage. The second is another option for reaching the printing screen. Selecting Zoom to Objects will immediately bring all of your plan objects into view which can be helpful if you've zoomed out too far to find your objects, or if you've panned away from them. Beneath the zoom to objects, we have open history. This allows us to open up the history of this plan to view any previous revisions. We can utilize this feature to restore a previous version of our plan if need be. If you need to start your plan over, you can click the next option down for reset plan. Beneath that, you have options for signing out of your profile, contacting our support team, and opening the Rapid Plan Online user manual. Let's drop a couple of signs on the plan to walk through how we can select objects we've placed on the plan. To select an object, simply left-click on it. You can select a group of objects by left-clicking and dragging over them. There are two types of selection boxes at your disposal. Dragging to the right uses the blue selection box, which selects everything completely inside it. 
dragging to the left uses the green selection box, which selects everything inside and touching the box. To resize an object, simply click and drag one of the yellow resize handles in the corner of the selection box. To adjust the size of an object uniformly, just hold down the shift key, then use the resize handles. Similarly, the orange rotation handles will adjust the orientation of your object by simply clicking and dragging to rotate it. Selecting an object or a group of objects will also present a context menu to the side of the selection with a number of options. Here, you can cut or copy your selection for pasting elsewhere, delete the selection, rearrange it in front of other plan objects or behind them, and with a selection of objects, you can align them. Depending on whether you've selected one object or a group of objects, you may see an option to group or ungroup objects. Group objects will convert a selection into a single object, and ungroup will separate an object or an object group into its individual components. The two most common reasons for grouping and ungrouping are for customizing signs and saving multiple objects together for your scratch pad for future use. Please note that we have tutorial videos covering the customization of signs and using your scratch pad linked in the description below. The Properties palette in the upper right side of your window is where you can add information about your plan or change aspects of a selected tool or object. The History palette lists the actions you've performed in your current session. Here, you can use the back or forward arrows at the top of the palette to undo or redo an action, respectively. You can also select a recent action in the History palette to revert back to that stage of your plan design. The Layers palette is where you can manage your print regions, plan layers, and control your base map settings. We will cover print regions in more detail in the printing video linked below. You can click on the base map section, like so, to expand those settings and make changes. Here, you can toggle between the different map providers and map types, and you can rotate your map by adjusting your map bearing. Note that we recommend adjusting your map bearing before starting your plan so as to avoid displacing any objects that you've already placed on the plan. This concludes how to navigate the interface in Rapid Plan Online. Thanks for watching, and please hit subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest here at Invarian.